Hi, in this Highs tutorial, we're going to look at the interface designer. We're just going to get a quick overview. We're not going to go into too much detail, but we will go into more detail in future videos. So to open the interface designer, you first of all need to add a front interface panel to your project. There are a couple of ways to do this, but the most simple is to click on the house icon up here and select an interface size. You have a choice of several predefined sizes, for example, a contact width or setting it for an iPad screen. You can also type in a size here manually. And once you've chosen a size, just hit OK. And this pop-up will ask if you want to switch to the interface designer. We can click OK. So now we're in the interface designer. This can also be accessed by clicking the second button here on the top menu bar. Now sometimes this screen won't be here. It may look more like that. To access the interface designer, if you can't see it, just click this house icon over here. So once we're in the interface designer, we have a canvas section in the middle here. We have a list of widgets over to the left and we have some properties over to the right. To unlock the interface canvas for editing, we click this lock icon here. And now we can add controls by right clicking and selecting a control. I'm going to add a button. And we can move it around the interface by clicking and dragging. Other controls we have up here, we can click this X to deselect any items we currently have selected. So if I select the button and hit X, the button is now deselected. You can also do that by hitting the escape key on your keyboard. So I'll select the button, I'll hit escape, and the button's deselected. This next control allows us to zoom in the interface up to 200%. Because the controls in highs are vector graphics, it all scales up smoothly and it doesn't blur like it would if they were raster images. The next two controls here are undo and redo. So if I take this button and I move it down to here and I hit undo, it'll put it back where it was. And if I hit redo, it'll put it back over here. The next control rebuilds the interface. You can also access this by hitting F5. That will also trigger the same command. We're not going to see anything happen at the moment because we haven't made any changes that require the interface to be rebuilt, but we will use this control in the future. This next series of buttons are for laying out controls on the interface. Let's have a look at those. So if we take our button and we're going to duplicate that, I'm going to press Ctrl D to duplicate. And I'm going to select both of these buttons by dragging a box around them. And I'm going to press Ctrl D again to duplicate those. So now we have four buttons. Let's just rearrange those so they all fit on the interface. Now, currently, they're not aligned with each other on the Y axis. But let's say we wanted them all in a row. Well, we can do that using these layout buttons here. We can highlight all the controls. And then we can click this button, which is to align the selection horizontally along the top edge. So it will align along the top edge of the controls. So now all the controls are aligned. Now, the controls are not spaced evenly apart. There's a big gap between these two, and a smaller gap here, and another size gap here. If we want to align them evenly, we can select them all and hit this one at the end, which will distribute the selection with equal spacing. So that was the second button here and the fourth button. Let's look at the other two. They do the same thing, but instead of doing it on the Y axis and spacing horizontally, they do it on the X axis and space vertically. So let's move these down to different positions on the Y axis now. And we're going to hit that first button of this block. And it's going to align all the controls to the left edge of the leftmost control. So all of these buttons will align to the left edge of button one in this case. Now to space them equally apart, we're going to select them all and we're going to hit this third button. And now they're spaced 
with equal spacing between them. Okay, thank you for watching. In the next video, we will look at some more elements of the interface designer. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put them below the video on YouTube, and I'll see you next time.